It's been almost six years since the publication of Romana Papa's first book, Ashoka and the Decline of the Warriors. Um, in 2019, she's had a hand in the making of two books, um, the first of which is Which of Us Are Aryans, to which she's contributed the lead essay, and the second is a fresh shift on her work called Questioning Paradigms and Constructing Histories, edited by Kunkum Roy and uh, Nena Dayan. As an example yeah. of, of the new ways of looking at the past, what do you have now? You have the texts, mm -hmm. so you have to be linguistically competent. Yeah. But you also have linguistics, which is the study of language from a very technical, analytical point of sure. view. Really. So it's not enough to say that in the Rig Veda it says this, and this is the word used. You have to go a step further and yeah. analyze the word. Yeah which gives you another dimension yeah. to how that word is being used in a particular context. Mm -hmm. So linguistics has become very important. Yeah. Um, then there is a contribution of um, uh, disciplines like, for example, demography. Yes. Uh, we have settlements, we have cities. What is the population of these? Mm -hmm. and, and it's rather horrifying when someone says, oh, but the population of Mahindradaro was not more than 50,000. Mm -hmm. And you think, my God, that's the population of a large village today. Mm -hmm. And we're talking about a city civilization. Mm -hmm. So it does give you a sense of reality. Right. And you do look at it differently. Than that. Right. Then you have hydrology. Mm -hmm. River courses in the Punjab kept change changing. I mean, mm -hmm. the Sutledge is the biggest criminal in this. Uh, so, if you're looking at settlements and you're looking at why there were migrations, as indeed there were from the literary sources, you have to take that kind of sure. data into consideration. Sure. And the most recent, which is, is it's beginning to create waves now, is of course genetics yes. and the whole question of DNA, uh, which is really not so central to, this, to, to answering the question of who of us are, of us are Aryans, which of us are Aryans. Um, as it is central to the issue of population mixtures and migrations. Mm -hmm. So that today, on the basis of the genetic material that we have, and it's, it's a new kind of evidence which will go in many directions, which will be debated, uh, but I think it's a very interesting area to explore. Uh, on the basis of the genetic evidence, we can say with great certainty that there was no such thing as a pure Indian uh, population. No. It's completely mixed. Uh, it's mixed in the Harappan period, it's even more mixed in the post Harappan period. And therefore, you automatically begin to think of migrations. Now, migrations have always been mentioned and discussed. Yes, people migrated from here to there, and that's it. What are the implications of a body of people moving? I mean, you have for example, in the Shatapata Brahmana, one of the later Vedic texts, you have a reference to a Raja by the name of Vivega Mathala, mm -hmm. who moves from the, from the Loab to the middle um, Ganga plain mm -hmm. and says that he traveled across, moved there with his people, carrying fire in his mouth, carrying mm -hmm. Agni in his mouth. And he arrives at this place which is very marshy and he clears the marshes and starts cultivation. Mm. Now, people have been quoting this for a long time and saying there was a migration. Mm. But what we now start saying is, what are the implications of a body of people moving slowly to a new area? An area where the crops are different, they're moving from wheat growing areas to rice growing areas. Uh, an area where probably the language was different, the local people, Therefore, he's carrying Agni in his mouth. Does that mean he's carrying the Indo-Aryan language right. to a new area? Right. Um, and obviously, if there are people already there, a few people even, there would be rituals, observances, beliefs that they would have, which would be different from the people coming in. Mm. And so we would have an interface of cultures. So essentially, um, it's a very nuanced way of looking at a question, which has been uh, actually made too simplistic. Mm -hmm. um, but what um, the various 
contributors to the book and the conclusions of the book are is simply that it's it's a very complicated question as to which of us are Aryans. And there was migration, there was a mixing, and today Indians are a composite of both major yeah. um, developments in an ancient time. And, and much more, because yeah. there were other interventions later right. on as well. And which, uh, what, what, what would those interventions be, besides the fact of migration and... Well, the, uh, the, the, the interventions, for example, Central Asia sure. was constantly impinging and sometimes moving in, mm -hmm. as we know from history. Mm -hmm. uh, now, there again, we keep on talking about invasions mm -hmm. all the time. Yeah, invasions are important, sure. they're, they're markers of a certain kind. But what's much more important is what migrates after the invasion has right. taken place. Right. Right. So you've got traders uh -huh. who go back to very early times, who mm -hmm. are coming much closer into India, making settlement, are coming from... You've got languages coming mm -hmm. in. Mm -hmm. Now, all of these uh, migrations of language, people, ideas, is going to change your local scene and in a sense then uh, cultural history is no longer this was the culture this culture came in and we had two cultures now you have to say this was the culture this culture came in this was the interaction from which other cultures emerged not one but very many so as a result of this mingling of cultures mm. Would it be um, true to say all of us are simultaneously local and foreign? Yes. yes. So that answers. There that. are elements of the local and the foreign and all. So of that's us. the broad that, definition that, of which of us are Aryans. That that are right. Yes. yes. That that none of us can say that we are pure such and such. We are all. So uh, this whole uh, rather nonsensical kind of assertion on the part of. Um, the current dispensation mm. that no, no, the Aryans are indigenous and didn't come from elsewhere. That is, that is emphatically wrong. That is being questioned. Yes. Okay. And uh, some of us think it's emphatically wrong, but mm -hmm. there are others who are waiting for the questioning to become much more positive. Right. Right. So it's an ongoing process. It's an ongoing process. Uh, yes. But uh, the, the the foundation of that uh, discussion is that. It's, uh, it's not simplistic. Uh, from these various streams that you're drawing um, clues from, um, it is that all of us are mixed. Um, there are some people who are here, there are some people who came from elsewhere, and over the centuries they, they mixed and mingled, and you know, that has resulted in, the, in today's India. Yeah. And the other thing is that, you know, the, the, the point I was making earlier, that when you look at migrations, what you're really looking at is the evolution of cultural change, mm -hmm. which is very important, which right. we've ignored, because yeah. we've always treated culture as a package. Yes. And that package sort of travels all the way down the centuries, which right. is really not what happened. Now, if you're looking at that, then the central question today given this complexity of evidence that's coming from all kinds of sources, is not which of us are Aryans. Mm -hmm. The central question is what is meant by an Aryan culture and a non-Aryan culture? Right. And right. how did this culture spread and what were the offshoots of the spread of a particular culture? Mm -hmm. And there are multiple offshoots. Right. And right. so you're into even more problems because you're not dealing with a culture, you're right. dealing with many cultures. Right, right. So this book looks at a lot of those, um, looks, at, uh, looks at a lot of those nuances. Yeah. I mean, breaks the question down to a much yeah. more nuanced kind of look at a phenomenon, yeah. um, a historical phenomenon and a contemporary phenomenon.